Hey guys, T Dog here, and I'm back with another downloadable map. From the outside, this does not look like much. <coughs> but, most of you may know this game. There's been some ads about it on Xbox lately. It's a free arcade game. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not. It's something that Madero's 99, me, and. Well, yeah, just us. Madero's 99 and I, we created this. We've hosted a couple matches. It is Happy Wars. Now, on Happy Wars, you've got your three classes. You've got Warrior, which you can play with monsters on, or you can't. I mean, you can play with monsters on if you choose. We do, because we have it lit up out there. So not much spawns except for slimes. So we gave you some food. That's the warrior class. You need the pickaxe, because you have to get through the enemy's gate, which is three iron doors. Then you have to destroy their big tower, which we just kind of made that up. Well, we didn't make the big tower up, but we made what it looks like up. And then this is the mage. They've got that much, because the mages do have a lot of powers in that game if you haven't played it. And if you don't know, well, they have a lot. Clerics, since they build stuff, like ladders, and they heal people, gave them a splash potion of regeneration, an axe as a weapon, because that's kind of like a hammer, I guess, and then ladders. This is technically the same thing as Happy Wars. Except the towers that you destroy that capture stuff is flags. And then these are the full auto arrow turrets that every base has. We put three of them right on the front. Full auto dispensers, 32 arrows in each dispenser. So, I mean, you can have full auto madness shooting people. Oh. I don't know why that just did that, but... I guess it glitched up at first. That would completely destroy someone. Say if they were coming on the bridge right there, they would get dominated. And that's the shoot at the big tower. I didn't make those full auto because I didn't want to make it too overkill. Because if there's a full auto dispenser shooting right at the tower, it's really going to make it hard for people to take them. Well, take the big tower. These are the flags, they're just four fence with two down and then three wide so you can get right underneath of them and destroy a piece of wool and then put your team's color. Every chest has the exact same thing so no one's cheating. I don't know why that's there, might have forgot to take that out. Mm, that's the enemy base. I'm gonna have to break my way in. They've got the same thing as the red team. This is just a little hill over here. A little bit maybe of an advantage or something. You can get up on trees, but I mean it makes it a lot more fun if you run around and have some fast paced action. Because, I mean, what good is it gonna... Well, it'll do a lot if you've got a bow, but... I mean, what fun is it going to be if you're just like, ah, oh, my sprint won't enable. What fun is it going to be if you're just like sitting up there camping on a tree and just shooting at people? It's not going to be very fun for them or you because you won't really get to get that many kills. This is kind of like an assassin jump, I guess. You run up here and whoosh, while they're trying to take that flag. Um, I believe there's another one over here or something. I mean, I tried to make this as fair as possible because I don't want people to be like, Oh my god, do you not fair? So I put everything the same in all the chests. The only thing different in chests is the color wool. So, I mean, that's really the only different thing is the color of the wool. So I wanted everything to be fair because... I don't want people to have a disadvantage. I mean, it wouldn't be fair if the mages on the red team got, like, diamond armor, a level 30 bow, and all of that, and these got that. So I gave them all the same thing.
This one looks kind of different because I didn't build this one. Um, my friend, well, Maderos99 did, and he didn't make it the same size, and he kind of made it look different. So I had to do some renovations to it, and I just kind of didn't fix it all the way like the other one. They've got the same space. I mean, they have the same amount of blocks. I measured to make sure. This one just doesn't really have stairs here, so... I mean, I'll add some stairs later on tonight, maybe, and then put that download link on there. But, yeah, this is the map. Um, there's four of each class, so... Like, one person could be warrior, cleric, and mage. Because there's four on a team. If you get a full mat match, that would be amazing. Because it would be 4v4. And you'd have even teams. You cannot... Well, the rules on the one that we play don't take anything from other chests. Like, only take from the chest of the class that you are at that time. So... One person can be every class once before you run out of stuff. And once you do, the game is over unless every team... Well, all the flags have been captured by a team. I would try to cap flags and then kill you... Well, kill your way to capping flags. Then this is just a little bridge with some water under it that we made. But yeah, this is a pretty cool map. If you want to download it, there will be a download link. So, see you.